Minotaur. We have our Minotaur, right? This should be a... Yes. I remember that being a milestone. Well, holy cow, you guys. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. I literally just loaded up and walked five feet. And I just got my milestone. Let me get in the... Let me get in here real quick. Holy cow. That was weird. Well, the... It, Okay, intro's all jacked up now. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. I'm Jason, and we are playing the Cartographer Expedition. This is officially Expedition 3. I walked 800 feet while in a storm. I, I literally had like, what, two feet left? Because I just took a few steps and I was done. Holy cow. So let's do that. We have our Minotaur Geo Bay. We're going to need to do that. So we need some gold and metal plating. I know, I got it, thank you. But in the last episode, we got a lot of phase one done. We didn't get it all done, but we got a lot of it done. We need to make a base. We need to deploy and use a signal booster. We need to shelter in a planetary building, and we also need to explore on foot for another 2,500 feet. We got some phase two done, we got some phase three done, so we're kind of slowly trucking along again. Like I tell everyone all the time, you don't have to do these in order. Sometimes if you want to do one of these, like, if you want to repair the frameshaft catapult, you can do that out of order. You don't have to wait till phase five to do that. As you can see, I've already done some phase three stuff. So just keep in mind, you can do all this stuff at the same time if you want to. We need to make a base, though, and I am i don't want to make a base too far away, so I'm just going to make one right here. Oh, yeah, I need chromatic metal. Great. I need chromatic metal, which means I need some copper. We're gonna need a lot of copper. We're gonna need a lot of gold. We need to get some buried caches as well. So let's get the buried cache. Now, gold is gonna be a hard one to find because you can't go in the space, right? So how hard, you know, it's gonna be difficult unless you have like a, a trading outpost or like a, a minor settlement near you because then you can just buy it, right? But if you don't have any of those things, there are a couple ways to do it. Number one, go to a cave. It is a rare drop in a cave. Like, if you start uh, taking out mining some of the uh, the rocks in a cave, they will randomly give you a freaking uh, sec section of gold. You know, they'll give you a piece of gold. Movement upgrade. I'll take that movement upgrade. Let me put that in here, I guess. Jetpack. Okay, well, yeah, we'll do that. Boom. All right. We have our A-class uh, thing. Oh, we have a life support and a scanner module. Oh, God, we need to... We need to use that scanner module, but before we do that, let's grab this here. But anyway, for gold, you can go through a cave and it'll randomly give you pieces of gold in different places. Oh yeah, we definitely have to go back. I don't want to carry that starship launch fuel forever. That's ridiculous. Or if you find a body of water, find some water because the what? Oh, look at someone has left their uh, thing over here. I like that. But yeah, if you have a body of water, go get a pearl because you can refine a pearl into gold. So do that. Holy cow, it'll be so good. Get that done super easy, super quick. Oh yeah, we're going to put this in the exosuit high capacity. Boom. Up, oh, scanner module. Yes, that'll give us more money when we scan stuff. Uh, fauna, so that's for animals only because it's an A-class. It's very limited, but you see my S-Class has for animals and plants. I wish they would let us have uh, animals, plants, and rocks, but hey, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain too hard because they do let us upgrade our ability to get a whole bunch of stuff, so. Ah. All right. Where is this? What is, I don't know who, who landed here. I can't even interact with it? Nope, I cannot interact with it. Great, okay. That's okay. Someone, I don't even know. Okay, so we're looking for, what are we looking for? Oh yeah, copper, copper, duh. Copper could also be found in caves as well. Or you can find it right over there, boom. There you go. There's our copper deposit. Let's go get some copper because we're gonna need a lot of it for later on anyway. We're gonna need some copper, some gold. So hopefully, wait, is that another base? Oh, six minutes away, there's a save beacon. I mean, I'll take that. Give me that. All right, we're also gonna need. Actually, we need to make a uh, a Minotaur Geo Bay, so we're gonna need 
A lot of ferrite dust. Yeah, we're gonna need gold. Okay. We need gold. We need gold. All right. We also need to scan some rocks, too, while we're out here. Scanning stuff. I haven't seen a lot of rocks lately. Like, I already scanned that type of rock. Dang it. And remember, guys, I know a lot of people have had trouble finding all the minerals they need. Always check every single rock. Even if it looks like the same exact rock that you've already scanned, do it anyway. Just look at it and see if question marks come up. Because if it's... I don't know how many times I've looked at a rock and said, Oh, I already scanned that one. And then I check it anyway, just to be sure. And of course, I did not scan that particular one. So even if it looks like one you've already done, check it anyway. Check them all. You know, and make sure go go to water, go underground, in the cave, and on the surface. All of those things. Because you never know, especially, you know, especially in a, a cave. Because there's a lot of similar looking rocks in a cave, but they're all different. You could find four or five different types of rock in a cave, but they all look the same. And it's like, what the heck? <laughs> so do that. Make sure to check out all of those stuff. Oh, man, we're going to get a whole bunch of copper. Do we? Oh, yeah, we don't have to worry about limits. Okay, yeah. I'm so worried about my limit in a uh, survival and permadeath mode. You can only carry 250 at a time in each slot. And so I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to run out of room. Never mind. You don't have to. We're playing on normal mode. Well, expedition mode, which means you can carry 9,999. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. I think that's it. All right. I think I got every bit of that. Oh, wait. Little pieces, little pieces here and there. Now I got it all. Okay. And I have been refining it into a chromatic metal. You're going to need a lot of it. So refine the crap out of it. Give me that. Boom. Beautiful. So now we can make a base computer, no problem. We also, we need to get a whole bunch of ferrite dust. So let me do that real quick. Rocks, where are you, rocks? Come on. No rocks around here, huh? This plant, I already scanned that one. Okay. Can I get this one? Nope, it's pure ferrite and sodium. I don't need that. There's no rocks anywhere. How in the world? I don't see any rocks on the surface. Am I just in a bad spot, maybe? Because, yeah, I don't see anybody. Not a single rock. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I see, like, w two big rocks that I've already scanned, and they happen to be the same ro type of rock. So come on. All right. That's okay, though. We'll get this done. Pick that up. Don't forget your portable refiner. I need to get some ferrite dust. Need to get some ferrite dust. So maybe I should have kept all my... Uh, my rusted metal. Because rusted metal. Wait a minute. Did I have it? Yes, I do have it. That turns into ferrite dust. We could totally get that. Let's see if we can get some more. Since we're, you know, running around anyway. Get some more rusted metal. Rusted metal? Yes, perfect. All right, fine. Screw it. We're going to do it that way. I need rusted metal to make metal plating. So we're going to do it that way. We don't need this residual goop. Get out of here. I say that now. I'm going to need it later on, I guarantee. <laughs> That's the way my brain works. Oh, is this a rock I don't know? Yes, see, look at it. Beautiful. We have another rock we don't know. All right. Got that. We got that. I'm looking for a body of water. Yeah, we got a body of water over here. So, there might be... Oh, wait. Check this one. All right, we already did do that one. Okay. Now... Keep in mind, not every body of water is going to have a pearl in it. You know, a clam that holds a pearl. But if it's a big body of water, more than likely it will. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Getting those storm crystals so I can sell it eventually. Look at the rainbow. Oh, lightning storm too. All right. I know. I get it. I get it. No minerals around here. I already did that one. Okay. Give me that. Hey, excuse me, reindeer. I already scanned you? Yeah, I did. Okay. already scanned those animals. Now, there's going to be animals underwater as well. So, definitely find a body of water as quick as you can. Come on. Nothing? That's not it? All right. That is a plant. Dang it. That's a plant. That's right. We'll make some money off of it, though. Of course, we're going to get these animals. Boom. Get that one. Two, and that explosion is a good thing. 
That means there's a uh, vent around us. All right, so there we go. We completed, we found 10 new species. And also right here, we're looking for these guys because they have crystal sulfide next to them. So these are like a hot vent from the planet's inner, you know, plates, I guess. I don't know. I'm not, I'm trying to sound scientific. Basically, it just shoots off a whole bunch of hot stuff every once in a while. So you just got to make sure to be careful around it. And look at that armored clam. That's what we're looking for. That's where we're going to get our pearls from. And you can refine a pearl into gold. Another easy way to get a whole bunch of gold early. Give me that. Living pearl. Now, I don't know if we're going to need some of this later on. So you might want to keep track of it. Let's look for rocks as well while we're down here. Another rock. Yes. Oh, we're running out of air. We need to get some uh, kelp. Go over here. Yeah, you can hear that. Holy cow, I'm breathing hard. There it is. Boom. Beautiful. And there are some. Where's my uh, my rocks at? Looking for rocks while I'm doing this. That's a plant. You can get a whole bunch of plants down here. That is a rock I've already I've already scanned. Okay. Let's get this thing real quick. Um, I'm not seeing very many rocks down here either. Man, they're killing me. A submerged relic. Let's go over here and pick up the submerged relic because we can get a hadal core from it. Make some nanites. There we go. Looking for up. Oh, there's a couple of pearls over here. You want to get as many as you can. You know, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to spend hours doing this. I mean, you can if you want to, I guess. But I don't generally try to spend a whole bunch of time. That's a lot of pearls. I just realized. There's like four of them. I only saw two marked, but there's four of them here. I like it. And it doesn't matter what size the pearl is. You know, it all is the same. So even if it's a small clam, same thing. You're good to go. A uh, rock? No, I already scanned that. Looking for rocks. Looking for rocks. I mean, plant I'll take because I'll get money off of it, but I really want rocks. All right, let's get some more oxygen while we're down here. I scan you? Yes, I did. Man, minerals are going to be the hard one this time. Oh yeah, speaking of that, duh. We didn't we didn't accept our reward. Come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? Don't you dare tell me that. I think my game froze. God damn. All right. It only took me a few, you know, 10, 15 minutes to get back to where we were. That freaking thing. I can't believe that actually before I do anything else, save point and then pick it up. Okay. So now I have a save point here. I got back to it. I got all of my, um, my chromatic metal back. Oh yeah. I'm glowing. There we go. So we have all this stuff. I've picked up some living pearls. So we should be good. I'm still looking for minerals. I'm looking for rocks underwater. I am not finding any. Oh yeah, and I got my um, I got my uh, scanning animals, but I haven't actually used it yet. So yeah, let's do that. Got my animals scanning. Yes, complete the fauna. This is all like phase three stuff. So man. Oh yeah, we have our uh, awesome submerged relic over here. I didn't pick that up yet. I'm in the same exact area that I was before. Where is it at? There it is. Oh, breathing heavy. Need to get my freaking uh, kelp. Go, go, go. There you are. What was that? It just gave me oxygen? Out of nowhere? Okay. But yeah, I'm still looking for rocks. Not a lot of rocks. There's a lot of plants down here. I mean, so plants and animals, no problem. Minerals are going to be the pain. How many do I have? How many do I have on my, uh, my mineral? Um, I have four out of eight minerals. Come on. <laughs> Killing me. Four out of eight. We're definitely going to have to get into the, uh, what's it called? The Minotaur because I need to go a long distance away from here. There's no way. I'm not going to be able to find it. Anything around here anyway. Oh, I didn't make a little marker over here. That's great. Submerged relic, submerged relic. I mean, I don't know why I would need that. I need a pearl more than anything, because I need that gold. All right, so get that pearl. 
living pearl. Thank you. Oh, right over here. Look at all these pearls. We're going to have a lot of freaking pearls, and that's okay. We're getting a lot of gold. That's what we need. All right. I think we have enough. I think we have enough, and I haven't found any freaking uh, minerals. I mean, I found the one. I haven't found a lot of other ones. I'm looking. I got four. Holy cow. That's all right. That's all right. We'll get the Minotaur, we'll, we'll go around, and we'll find some more. All right. We're going to need some um, carbon. Oh, wait, there's a mineral right here. I found a rock. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, we need ferrite dust. I forgot about that. We need the ferrite dust to make the metal plating in order to even get our Minotaur. So, yes, give me that the one rare rock that I can find. Eh, maybe you'll give me some ferrite dust. I doubt it. I never find any ferrite dust out of here. Yeah, usually it's sodium and oxygen. Condensed carbon, great. Oh yeah, projectiles. Yeah, I need that. I got a microprocessor. All this good stuff that I can sell. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's learn a word while we're here. I don't know if this is a one of the milestones, but I'm going to do it anyway. Gonna learn the word. Oh, yeah, let's see. I think I, I got this the last time, but I didn't get it to this time, so... Oh, yeah. Metal. We're going to take that because it will give us ferrite dust that we need. Oh. Um, I know. I know. Not seeing anything else around. No rocks at all. Like, literally. Why no rocks? That's okay. We've got a lot of ferrite dust. We don't. I don't know if we have enough. We have a lot. Let's scan it. Oh, see? Always check it. I'm pretty sure I scanned this before, but you never know. It could be this. It could be a totally different rock. It just looks the same. Oh, all right. Well, let's keep going. We're gonna go to to our ship because we're gonna make our uh, our base next to our ship with the teleporter and everything right there. But we're also going to use our ship as a uh, save point. That way I don't have to worry about, oh my god, running around and dying with something on me or losing progress. Wait, is this, does that, does that count as a rock? Oh, those were storm crystals before. Okay, got it. I was like, come on. That's already done. We should go back in the cave. I bet you there's like a couple of rocks in the cave that I missed. So let's get in here. I know. We're about to make a, a base computer, though, so. Oh, base computer. Cannot build within existing base. Oh, someone built a base. That's why that thing is there. Dang it. So great. We need to go find another place that doesn't have a base already in it. Great. What is this guy? Whoa. Hey, did you land? What is this? Offer to trade? Oh, dude! I don't have any nanites, though. Crap! <laughs> sell? Oh, I can sell him stuff, though. I can make some money. I can't buy anything good from him, but I can sell him some stuff, like the mango gold. I can sell him some ionized cobalt. We're gonna keep the rusted metal. I wish he could sell me some stuff. Maribob will sell him that. Just to make money? I don't know why. <laughs> if we ever find a base or something like that. Oh, I could refine a Hadal core. Oh, dang it. Sell him the cytophosphate. Um, the Gek Relic, yes. Projectile, Mordite. Uh, Starship Fuel, yes. Screw it. Nitrogen. Silver, we're gonna keep. I can't buy anything that's like good. Ah. Maybe. Yeah, I only get 50 from the uh, Hadal core, so it's not really gonna do anything for me. I can't believe he landed here. I have not seen that happen forever. All right. Stabilizing. Oh, is this not going to work? Not going to work. The natural burial site. I'm sure we need those bones. Storm crystals, because we're in the middle of a storm. Are you an animal? I've scanned you. Yes, I have already scanned you. Dang it. All right, I think we're good now. So this plant, how is that a plant? All right, 
I need like two rocks. I need like two rocks. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing. Okay. Well, crap. I think we have enough. Let me actually, before we do that, uh, we need to refine some stuff. Okay. Right. Because I'm in a base, I can't. Guys, uploading bases is kind of a jerk move. I'm literally where I need to be. This is my freaking. But I can't put it down. Okay, there we go. There we go. I was so mad. I was about to get so pissed. Like, come on. We need to refine this rusted metal. Oh, I'm going to get 274. That's enough, right? That should be enough. Oh, what's going on here? We need to put these away. Put that away. Put that away. I don't know why. I'm going to keep the creature pellets for now. Living pearl, we can refine that into gold. Yeah, see, we got we got this. We got this, guys. Oh, dang it. That's okay. So let's see how many can we make. We can make two? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be real close. This is going to be really close. Up to three. We need five. Get some cobalt. What am I doing here? Come on. And remember, some of these will give you gold as well. Not always, and it's a very rare drop, but it can happen. I get some pure ferrite as well. Mostly getting that cobalt because... I want to get some uh, batteries for later on. Come on. Nothing, nothing. No gold. I don't see anything anyway. Yeah, I'll get some sodium from you. All right. That should be enough time, right? 142. Now we'll get some gold by putting the pearls in there. We can always get more pearls, so don't worry about it. Ooh, we're at 800. Oh my god. That's like a good amount. That is a good amount. All right. So we should have enough to make our geobay. Yes. Let's do that real quick. We made the geobay. Minotaur. We have our Minotaur, right? This should be a... Yes. I remember that being a milestone. And then, hopefully... Get rid of that. There we go. So, And you can also get rid of it to get your materials back and you keep your Minotaur. Because now, I can call in my Minotaur because I already have it on the planet. So, boom. You can call it in anyway. No edit permission. I keep getting the, war the warnings. Okay. But we need to make a base. Oh, what are we going to do? We need to get a, up a high mountain. Like over there, maybe? I think... Because the general rule is people don't build stuff on top of mountains because it's a, a real big pain in the butt. So, what you would do is just go to the top of the mountain and build something up there. This is not going to work, I don't think. Um, no. Let's just keep going. Screw it. <laughs> um, we need to find a big mountain anyway, right? Yeah, we do need to find a mountain. So this should work, maybe. Possibly. I know there's a, a milestone for flying high enough. Make sure. Oh, walked 5,000 feet. Oh, we need to start accepting some of our awards here or our uh, stuff. So... We, cl we went 5,000 feet. Got that. Yes. We also... Mechanical man, we made our minotaur. Yes. All right. So we have a lot of stuff going on here. All right. So we have a movement module. Put that in there. A shield module. Oh, our shield's in there. But we'll uh, pick that up and put it in here next to the other one. Minotaur. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to do that real quick. Where's my minotaur? 
Um, engine done. Just to just throw it in here because I want to. Mining beam amplifier. We need to make a mining beam. Okay, let's let's install a mining beam. Minotaur laser. We need chromatic metal, dihydrogen, and wiring loop. We got all of those things, so we're gonna make that real quick. So now we have a mining laser and an upgrade. That way we can mine while we're in a minotaur. That really forces you to use it. So don't forget about your minotaur. We can use that thing like crazy. All right. But we need to get up to a high, high mountain. So let's do that real quick. Let's see if this is even close. I bet not. Oh, I didn't recharge my, uh, my life support. Hopefully this is not that big. Oh God. Now I'm getting confused. So, yeah, you gotta make sure to face it. Face the wall. Dang it. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Rocket man! <laughs> I wasn't even trying to get the rocket man. But we got it. That's on phase four. All of a sudden now, we're getting a ton of the stuff. All right. Let me actually install this over here. All right. We got a ton of stuff going on here. A starship, multi-tool, exocraft. Nothing in here yet. Okay. Got it. We got some sack venom. I don't even think we need that for anything. We need the sulfide. All right. Let's try this again. This time. Refill my life support. That way I don't go down. All right. Oh, we got to try to get to the top of this mountain. What? Why am I rotating? It rotates me automatically, huh? But yeah, I'm trying to get to the top of this mountain because... There is a milestone for getting to the top of a very tall, tall mountain. And it's just, it keeps wanting to rotate me. I don't know what the heck. Is it because this hill is, or this mountain is at a weird angle? I don't know. I don't think this is tall enough, though. Yep, this is not tall enough. I don't see any other mountain that's going to be tall enough around me. Not, not even close, but maybe over there. All right. But we did use it to get the rocket man, so we're good on that. Well, let's go then. Get our engine so we don't have to uh, refill our fuel as often. Can I grab this without leaving my Minotaur? Oh, I can! Dude. Oh, dang it. It's the same button to grab and exit. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, why did it kick me out? Wait a minute. Can I build? Wait, we, we just had a whole bunch of stuff. So, first things first, let's hit a save point. I don't want it to crash again and screw me over. All right, no scan technology installed. Let's see, can we make a scanner? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, uh, we need a wiring loom. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> you're killing me. All right, we can get rid of our infra knife if we needed to. Ah, uh, you know what? We're good, we're good. So what we're going to do is the one thing we can't do is we can't scan if we don't have a scanner. I'm trying to look for a specific thing. Okay. So, you know what? We've actually gone for a while, including a gigantic freaking uh, uh, crash on here. Dang it. That laser. Oh, dude. Look at how fast that laser is. I forgot. This thing just gets everything done. Oh, you can't get that. Come on. Come on. You can't get the unbreakable tree. Come on. And there's no overheating. Look at this thing. No overheating. You can just go forever. Get the storm crystals. Dang it. <laughs> I need to change the button layout on that. Because getting out of your vehicle when you're trying to pick something up is probably not ideal. Go this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys. Oh, yeah. And also, we also have a milestone for walking in your, uh, what's it called? In your exocraft. So, 9,000 units, and I've already traveled 1,000. So, oh, dude, we are doing so good. We're knocking this thing out. Out of the park. All right, we're going to lay down for a second. Let's see what we can fix. Nothing, nothing. Oh, condensed carbon. We can fix that. I want to make sure to fix whatever I can. I have 
lightning hitting right next to me. I'm scared. We can get rid of this wiring loom and get phosphorus. We don't need a we don't need that. That's not special, so we need a wiring loom more than that. So let's try this now. We're gonna install a uh my minotaur scan attachment because you can scan for specific things in a minotaur. That's why you want that scan array. That scanner. Boom. We have phosphorus, which is really good. Alright. I could have sworn we needed something, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have that. We have that. We have... Crystal sulfide. That's the one. I was like, I could have sworn I was picking that up for something. Alright. So we're slowly repairing the stuff. We got that. We got that. We need some Herox. Uh, quantum computer, larval core, got it, okay. So, let's get in here, and let's see what we can do. So, if you hit down on your D-pad, you can, uh, scan for specific things. You can scan for a secured facility, a distress signal, a planetary outpost, oh yeah, oh yeah. So let's see, planetary outpost. P outpost detected, where is it at? That's a minor settlement over there. Uh, outpost is one hour away. Oh my God. All right, let's scan again. Once it reloads, we can scan for different objects and kind of shows you not, it's not always the nearest one, but it's the closest one that they can find. It is procedurally generated. Let's see, distress signal. Oh, you can only have one at a time. It got rid of the, uh, oh God. Oh God, it got rid of my trading outpost, huh? Distress beacon, everything's an hour away. Oh my god, okay. Well, you guys, hopefully you guys like the episode. In the next one, we're going to have to go through and find some stuff, all right? So it's going to take a little bit of time, but I think we'll be able to do it. So I will see you guys. Uh, saved? Okay, good. I'll see you guys next time.